Hello everyone, welcome to God Given. Right now I want to quickly share with you how to slim down a chubby face. As many of you know, I share with you that I'm in a process of losing some weight and so far I've lost about 40 pounds. PTL, PTL. So that's what I want to share with you today and if you want to watch how to slim down a chubby face, you know what to do. So first I'm going to start out with some foundation. I already primed my face. So I'm going to start off with some foundation. I'm using this L'Oreal True Match. I've had this for a while. Now when you do your foundation for this, you want to make sure that it's not too bright. If your makeup is too bright, your base especially, then it's going to make your face look thicker than you want it to look. Okay, so we don't want we want to make sure our foundation isn't too bright. So this L'Oreal True Match, I haven't used it in a while. It's kind of dark because it's winter and I haven't been out in the sun much lately and so but I should be able to pull it off. So I always apply with my finger as you all know and then I blend it with a brush, sponge or a brush. So I'm going to use my kabuki brush, wipe the rest of it off my fingers, then blend it. So this is kind of thick. I think this is a full coverage. This is a super blendable. And so it's kind of semi full coverage. I've seen coverage better than this or deeper. That's what I mean, but. So now we're going to use some contour cream because that's going to be the magic right there is the contour cream. So I'm using this Espresso and Fenty Beauty. It's pretty dark. I'm going to blend it well. So the places you want to put the contour is the, the widest points on your face. And so mine is right here my temple area, my cheeks, and of course we want to hide our double chin if we have one. And a lot of times our eyelids are also kind of puffy. So we're going to put a little bit up there as well. On the eyelids, just on the edges. That's where I'm going to put it, just on the edges. Now, some people put theirs on top of their cheeks. I don't like that. I don't, that's not what we were taught in beauty, beauty school. And so, I'm not going to put it there. Of course, I want to slenderize my nose. This is very dark, but I'm going to blend it very well with my contour brush. Just going to press it in. When we're losing weight, when we gain weight, our face is a lot of times the last spot on our body to get 
chubby. And it's the last one. When we start losing weight, it's almost the last of it's kind of competition between our face and our stomach. But each person is different. Each one of us is different. So this how you hide a double chin, especially at night when you're taking photos. But make sure you get that straight on your nose so it's not crooked. So right under your cheekbone. The further you go down, the more it's going to define your face. The further you come down here towards your chin. Okay, so I'm just going to stop right here. So it's kind of meeting up with the end of my eye. That's where I'm stopping. And I'm going over this indentation right here, my cheekbones. A lot of younger women, they put highlight there, but I probably did that when I was younger, but So all this depends, the contouring depends on the shape of your face because all of us, our face, our face has a unique shape. My face has an oval shape. So the way to find out your face shape is to take an eye pencil or lipstick pencil, stand in front of a mirror and just outline your face. So I was told in beauty school that I have an oval face, supposed to be the perfect face shape, but I don't know about that. Because we're all beautiful in our own way. Okay, so we blended all that in. And then I always start finish with my Kabuki brush. Because it has some foundation on it. And that helps it blend just a little bit more. Because last thing you want is your makeup to stand out too much. So now I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This blush trio. I'm going to use my blush brush. I'm going to start off with this dark color right here. It's like a purple. This is Berry Adore. I'm going to start out with this. I'm supposed to mix them all together, but I'm just going to start out with this right here and see. Probably right there, right over. There's a tiny bit above the bronzer. The uh, Just a tiny bit above the contour we just put on. And so we're going to follow this up, 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 side of our face, because we're still contouring. Just want to go take this just a little bit above what we just put on. See how that's slimming my face down? So now we're going to take the next color right here in the middle. Try to get the brush on there. Just going to put a little bit right here on our cheeks. You want to put a darker tone color on your cheeks. If you go too bright with the blush and everything, it's going to blow up your face. It's going to make it look bigger. And so. We don't want to go too bright. Like this orange, I'm not going to use the orange. Not on my cheeks, it's too bright. Okay, also using this same palette, I'm going to take the brown. I'm going to put it over my eye lids, right in the middle. I had put on some concealer earlier, so make sure you put on concealer or some eyeshadow primer before doing this. I'm going to put on a little bit more concealer. 
darker shade we're going to put on using the end of our brush brush why that's such a tongue twister i'm going to put the darker shade first and then the lighter the berry rosy extra rosy color I'm going to take this orange at the bottom using a dense eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go all the way across right above my eyelashes. So darker colors recede our features that we want receded. Now I'm going to take this highlighter by Milani. This is in the color Champagne Dioro. I'm going to take my highlighter brush A little bit on my nose. A little bit under my eyebrows. I like this color. It's like the Master Chrome, but more of a pearl, pearly color. It's not too shiny like the Master Chrome. I'm going to take this bigger brush. Top of my cheekbones. You don't want to put too much right here on our cheeks because it's going to make it stand out. You can look more plumper, and we're trying to get away from looking plump. And because my forehead is small, I'm going to put some on my forehead. So, thank goodness, I don't have a chubby forehead. But my cheeks are very chubby. I've always had kind of chubby cheeks and so this is nothing new even though I need to lose weight drop a few pounds so of course we want to finish the look with our eyebrows complete the look You can also use the contour brush and put some darker shades on your neck. So before I do my mascara, I'm going to put on this setting spray. Setting spray. My Urban Decay. And this is Cover CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Put this on. This is in brown. Okay, so I already did my mascara off camera. Now we're going to put on some lipstick. So since this is a berry look, I'm going to use strawberry colored lipstick. So this is a fuchsia, a pink. It's not too fuchsia. I don't want it too hot. Fuchsia. It's a double sided lipstick. See how it's light on one side, dark on the other. So I'm going to use the lighter side to highlight my lip, the bottom, and the top. Also, if you want to make your lips look fuller, make the top lip lighter, or whichever lip is smaller, make it lighter, and make the bottom lip darker. You want to make your top lip lighter, try this CoverGirl Enchantress color. It's 
just make your lips look a little bigger so there we go ladies that's how we slim down a chubby face blend 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 so if you wear this in the daytime just don't add as much color uh, your contour make sure it's not too dark you don't want to forget the concealer this color is not too bright it's kind of thick this is Fenty Beauty number 300 concealer blend it with my concealer brush There you go ladies there you go i hope you like it make sure you watch my minimal makeup video as well you'll see a link at the end of this video for my minimal everyday makeup look see you later bye bye